This building services all of Curry County, but only half of the county pays for it. Everybody needs to pay their fair share in the county. Gold Beach resident Joe Ross pays taxes each year to support Curry General Hospital. He says he knows the county needs more medical services locally. I'm not sure who's going to pay the bill, but I know it's coming and we need it. And we're just going to have to everybody get on board and just deal with it the best we can. The hospital's chief executive officer, Virginia Razzo, has the answer to the future of their health care by pushing to expand the health district into the Brookings Harbor area. If they choose to um, join the district in the Brookings Harbor area, their taxes will increase by about 99 cents per thousand dollars of assessed value. If county commissioners decide to put this on the ballot, voters will see it in the November election. But with Curry County's history passing taxes, Rosso says she understands the opposition. People living on a fixed income and not wanting to raise more taxes. People in the area also voiced that concern to me off camera, but not everyone is against it. We need to have the health district uh, include Brookings. And the reason is Brookings has the oldest population. Razo says this vote is about more than just money. It's about the future. It's not just about buildings and it's not just about tax dollars, but it's about building a health system that this community can be very proud of and, and would think to go nowhere else if you needed services. If this doesn't get passed, the CEO says down the road, it may not be able to afford the standalone emergency room planned for Brookings. If there are many patients that filter into an emergency room that have no ability to pay. Uh, all of a sudden, th the finances you know, could be upside down. For now, it's up to the county commissioners for the next step. Covering your news in Curry County, Ariana Rakshani, News 10.